Well, hello there. Well, sure. I have exactly seven minutes until my souffle will be done. What did you need? Oh, no bother at all. I was just updating my phone list this morning. Ms. Savage's home number is 555-0175. I'm sorry. I really don't know her at all. But... Oh, hello. It must be all the volunteer work I've been doing. I'll be fine. I've spent all of my spare time at the shelter. Maybe it's wearing me down just a touch. I believe it's our civic duty to help those less fortunate than us. Besides, I get... And volunteering at this particular shelter is especially rewarding. It's a perfect match for me. Let's just say that I'm not suited for the type of service where my opinions aren't appreciated. Well then, I better be running along. Thanks, you too. Goodbye.
Hi, have you talked to Bree yet? Okay. Hey, I like your cell phone. I used to have one just like that. Oh, sweetie, don't be nervous. Just make the call. How bad could it really be? Oh, hello. Sure, go ahead. I did a little bit last year, but this year I think the play got canceled or something. I'm not really sure what happened. Something about a budget cut. I was kind of bummed. I really wanted to do a play this year. It would have looked good on my transcript. You know who would know about this stuff for sure? Andrew Vandekamp. He's totally in. Hidden temerity, the swooping falcon descends upon the hunter, knocking the rifle from his grasp. The startled hunter reaches for his knife in a desperate attempt to defend himself, but it's too late. Hello. What can I do for you? Oh, really? What type of questions? Well, I don't really like to gossip. It leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Life continues. Hey, boy! Dogs love me. Even meat from animals. Oh, hello. I guess so. Are you walking around the neighborhood? Oh, hello. You mean the hottie student teacher? Tabitha. That's what she makes us call her. Hell no. But she and your son seem to get along pretty well. We used to bag on them for spending hours after school in her office. I'm not sure. Talking about homework, I guess. Unless he was working for extra credit. Well, come to think of it, I have seen him after school hanging out by Allison's car lately. Well, yeah, I was in a few plays back in freshman year, but there's nothing going on anymore. No, some sort of budget cuts. There haven't been any play rehearsals since the first week of school, so I've had to help around the house after school. Ugh. Hate to break it to you, but I think you may want to talk to your son about this. There haven't been any rehearsals all year. I've seen him hanging out with Allison a lot lately. Whatever. After years of searching, I have found the hidden temple of ultimate refreshment. I'm pretty thirsty. This jungle heat is unbearable.
Hello? This is Tabitha. Who is this? Oh, hello. How can I help you? I'm sorry. It's school policy not to discuss a student's personal matters to anyone who's not their parent or legal guardian. I'm sorry. I wish I could help you, but my hands are tied. I would... I'm sorry. I can't divulge that information either. Okay. Well, I can arrange a parent-teacher conference if you would like. Well, I generally don't like to get involved in student affairs. But ever since he started dating that slut, Allison, he won't talk to me anymore. Well... That phony cheerleader started snatching him away after school, and he stopped attending our special tutoring sessions. Oh, <laughs> well, I was just helping him deal with things that he was finding hard to grasp. I'm just saying, a boy his age, in his prime, should really be grateful of the skills and techniques that an older, more educated woman can provide. All I'm saying is that if he puts his attention where it belongs, his grades will likely improve. Listen, if you don't tell your son to break up with Allison and resume our tutoring session... Hey lady, you can do whatever you want. But may I remind you that my father is the superintendent of the school district. I'm as good as bulletproof. Nice try. I have access to information most tenured teachers can't even get their hands on. All I have to do is hop on my father's computer for five minutes, and your son's academic record is toast. It's a simple proposition, really. I want you to tell your son that he needs to em failure to do so will result in his academic ruin, and you can kiss his future goodbye. Thank you. 